All right, so let's uh, just use native contacts. And actually using this, it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, if you see right here, we get to check the uh, usage. We get an example. So we just need to import native contacts. We already did that. And then we just need to call contact get all. And this is, of course, to get all the contacts in your phone. Now, first, uh, we need to trigger this with a button. And now we're going to reach to a funny scenario. Uh, right here, it says Android permissions. So this is going to work for uh, for iOS. Now, if we want Android, we need to do kind of this weird thing. But don't worry, we're going to go through this in a minute. But first, I would like to show you how easy this is. So we are importing contacts. So what I want to do, I want to press a button and get all the contacts. That's the only thing I want to do. So I'm going to go here and say I want to add a button, open and close, and uh, of course, self close. And I'm going to add a title. So title, it's going to be equal to, I don't know, load contacts, something like that. And then, of course, uh, I would need to do an unpress because we're going to trigger something. And I'm going to trigger a function that calls maybe this dot get uh, contacts, something like that. All right. So now I need to create this function. I'm going to go over here at the top. I'm going to say get contacts. And this function is going to change in a few minutes when we reach the Android uh, side of things. So I'm going to open it and say, OK, what do I want to do? Well, we want to do this. We want to do contact, get all, and everything else. I'm just gonna, gonna just copy and put it right here. So when we trigger this, we access contacts and say we get all. And of course, uh, this will take an amount of time because you need to go to the phone, get the contacts, and then come back here. So this one, of course, we get it on a callback function. When you get all the contacts back, you can access this, and it's just a JSON response. And I'm gonna do uh, maybe console warn. Uh, let me do it right console console warn and uh, then I'm gonna do contacts all right let's let, let's just give it a try let's see what happens I'm gonna try it on on the iOS one so let me go here so I'm gonna reload it I'm gonna load the contacts and we get okay would you like to access your contacts yes we would like to do that so I'm gonna do okay and we're gonna get right here uh, a JSON file and notice that it says job title, producer, and the name, the state of the uh, of the contact. So by default, with uh, with iOS, we get some contacts on the phone. Let me just try to go back to the native application. So if I go to contacts, we get some contacts. Now uh, with Android, you don't get this. You just get an empty phone with no contacts. So if we wanted to get a contact, we need to uh, add the contacts first, and then you know just try it again. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. And we know that on iOS this works. I'm going to try it on the Android. I'm going to load the contacts, and that happens. So it's going to close the application, right? It's going to just end the application. If I start again and load the contacts, it's going to, of course, keep stopping. And OK, I'm just going to close it. And this is because load con this way works with iOS, but not for Android. With iOS, it's asking us, if we want to allow the uh, application to enter, right? And we can have already did that, this on Xcode. Remember, we added the permissions and that's it. That's the only thing we need for iOS. But for Android, uh, just adding on the Android directory the permissions, it's not enough. So right here, they give you an example of what you need to do. But don't worry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just show you right now what to do. So first, I'm going to go right here and import the first line. I'm going to go at the top and explain you. So we need to, and this is actually new on earlier versions of React Native and actually Android. Uh, we actually this, this was not required. It was the same for all. But now on newer versions, we need to do this. So notice that we are importing this from React Native, not from Context. So this is a permission we need for Android. It comes from Android. So we are asking permissions Android. And I'm gonna go and just do it right now. I'm gonna do request just like this, and then multiple. And I can explain you why. So let me go to the, <clears throat> sorry, that's the example that they give us. So what we need to do is we just need to, to create a function that returns a promise, right? We just need, we use a promise. We access that permission Android and we do our request. Now we are doing request multi multiple, but don't worry, I will explain you in a minute. So when we do request, it means that we are just making a request to the phone and we are asking the phone if we want to, we get access to contacts. And this is actually that something we need to add. We already did it 
on the files, but we still need to ask here beforehand. So then, of course, you're going to pass the title, maybe the message, the app would like to view your contact. And this is just an example, is the second argument that you can pass. And then, of course, this will return uh, will return something. The promise will get resolved and it's come back, it's going to come back to the, uh, to the then. And of course, if everything goes okay, it's going to go uh, to the then and not to the error. And that's it. Now, okay, I'm going to show you a different example because we're going to get a, kind of a funny scenario. If I do just this, it's going to work on uh, Android, but not on iOS. And that's the problem. So I'm going to go and show you kind of a different way to do this. I'm going to delete the image because we don't have it. I'm going to go at the top and bring something that calls platform. Uh, we're going to talk about this platform, do a few more things with this one. But this is something that we get from React Native, and I'm importing two things from React Native. Let me ju let me just uh, make this better. Oh, do we, we already have the platform. Sorry for that. So I'm going to go make it just like this, bring, uh, view button, and I'm going to bring this ones at the bottom. OK, so there we go. Let me do coma, and that's it. And delete this. So uh, the platform, it's something that React Native uh, gives us. So we can access and ask the platform on which uh, operating system you know we are. We are, are we on the iOS or are we on Android? So we're going to ask the platform where uh, you know which de which device we are using. And if we are we are on iOS, we're just going to run this. And if we are Android, we're going to do the other weird, weird thing. Okay. So let me just begin with this. Now I'm going to create this function right here at the top. And this action, remember that this is a promise. This is going to take a little while. So instead of just using a promise, I'm going to use async and await. So I'm going to do async. And I'm going to create a function that calls, and you can call this whatever you want, contacts and then permissions, permission, something like that. Open and close. All right. And I'm going to oh, just open it. Now, of course, we need to ask for something. So I'm going to say else if. Now, how can we use the platform? Well, first we need to make a request. We need to ask if on on which operating system we are. So we say platform.os. Now this one is going to return iOS or Android. So first, if I am on iOS, we're going to do some very specific code. Console. Let me do it. Let me do it just now. I'm going to remove this and say console. Sorry, console log and uh, you know iOS and I'm going to do the warn. Now of course if we are on Android we will do the opposite. We're going to go to this code. So, you know, Android. Whatever. I'm going to do this because I don't want to get the contacts. The only thing I want to do, I want to get this contact permission, right? So I'm going to go here and say that we want this dot request permission. Of course this code is going to change in a minute. So I'm going to go to iOS let me just close this because I'm getting confused. This is DX code. Let me just quit it. All right. So I'm going to go here and say that I um, want to log load contacts and we get iOS. And on Android, let me open the application. There we go. React Native. And if I do load contacts, and what is that? Let me just go back. Load contacts. Of course, uh, it's failing, and it's because maybe I didn't reload the application. Let me, let me just try again. Let me go again. I'm going to load contacts, and we get Android. So, you know, that's cool. We know that, that this works. Now, let me try again because it's not closing. All right. So now what we need to do uh, for uh, iOS, the only thing we need to do, the only thing we need to do right now is just return true. Now, if whenever we call this function from get contacts, if we get uh, true, it means that we need to move forward. And this one, of course, is going to return true or false. This one will always return true because we know that this one works on iOS. So it will always return true. Now on Android, this, you know, this uh, thing that getting contact, this permission, you know, might fail, you know, might get rejected. So for this one, we need to do what they are telling us right here. Check for the permissions. Now, uh, we're going to do several things with the contacts. We're going to read contacts and we're going to write contacts. We're going to be able to add a contact. So we just we need two different permissions. On this one, they give us just one permission. So if you want just one, you can use something like this, just with request. And this is why I'm bringing request mul multiple. We can use request mul multiple to make multiple requests, right? Makes sense. 
Okay, so on this one, I'm just going to create a, a function. I'm going to say const, just like this, and I'm going to say granted. And of course, this one, this function will return true or false, or, for, or, or false. And then here, we're going to put uh, the permissions and the request that will return something at one point. Since we are using async await, I'm going to do await, and then I'm going to go and do the permissions uh, Android. All right, they're going to do dot, and I'm going to request multiple. We open, and since this is a multiple, we need to pass an array. So, okay, I'm going to just, you know, open this, I'm going to go here and say that, okay, what is the first thing we want to do? Well, we want to ask uh, permission to read contacts. All right, so I'm going to go and paste it. And the other one, it's pretty much the same, but this one is going to be for writing contacts. So I'm going to do write. All right. Now, of course, uh, the when we enter this contact permission, it's going to go here and it's, it's going to check if we are on Android and then it's going to go here. It's going to go to the granted. It's going to await until this gets resolved. And this, of course, will return something. Now, this one will not return just true or false. It's going to return something else. So let's see how to catch it right now. All right, so I'm going to go just to the Android. Now, this granted will return something that it's not true or false. So I'm going to just show you what we get. I'm just going to do a console log, and I'm going to output whatever we get back from granted. So I'm going to reload the application, and if I go to load contacts, now it's not failing. It's not closing. It's asking us, what do you want to do? We want to deny or we want to allow. So if we allow it, this one will return, and I made a mistake with this one. I'm going to say warn and try again, I'm going to load it and we get this. So notice we get kind of a, you know, we get an object saying Android permission, write contacts granted, and then Android permission, read contacts granted. So we need a way to catch if we get this value and we get the granted. So I'm going to go here and just do a simple if else. So, all right, I'm going to do else just like this. Okay. So if we get the, uh, if we get the uh, kind of a positive uh, response that we are getting granted, we want to access this value. So I'm going to do something like this. And I'm going to say, first, I want to access granted, which is this variable. And then I want to access the thing that says Android, just like this, dot permissions, uh, permission, dot. And then again, we do pretty much the same thing, read contacts. All right. And then of course, I'm going to say, okay, so if this one it's equal, then, and remember that we get a result permissions, let me just access again, permissions, permissions, Android, we get the value called result. And notice that we are accessing permissions, Android, we are not going to this object. So we are just checking if we get pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to say granted. And that's it. So then I'm going to need to do an ampersand and pretty much do the same thing, for, but for the other one. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to go right here at the, at the bottom and let me fix it. And I'm going to say, okay, we get the same granted, but this one is going to be for read contacts. So if you're getting the permissions Android result, then granted, which is going to be true. If we get true and true, we're going to go and, you know, return true, just like we, we are doing for iOS. So of course, if this fails, we're going to just return false. And that's it. So now the only thing that we need to do is to call this function, this uh, request contact permission. And if we get a true, we just move forward and we, you know, go and access all the contacts. So this is one way of doing things. You can just access to the object in your way and check if you do have a value. That's, you know, a different way to do it. This is a pretty standard way. And you're going to find a lot of examples just doing the same thing. So now again, we need to call uh, request contact permission and uh, get the get the values. So I'm going to go to get contacts. I'm going to say request contact permission, and we know that this one will get resolved. And at one point, we're going to get an answer. So I'm going to say then open and close. What do we do? Well, we just run a function. Now this function will return true or false. So I'm going to catch the value right here, and I'm going to call it did get permission. All right. So what hap what's going to happen if we get a permission, right? What what are we going to do? So I'm going to say if did get permission that we are getting right here, it's true. We're going to get the content contacts. If not, we're going to do maybe an alert, you know, uh, no permission. All right. So what do we need to do right now? I'm going to go and get all the contacts. So I'm going to go right here 
and say uh, con maybe console, uh, maybe not log, maybe warn, and just access the context. The same thing we did previously. So now we are running just one function to get the context. And of course, we need to request the permissions and we are just uh, discriminating the, the OS. And you know, this is gonna work. So let's, let's just give it a try. First, I'm gonna check if it works on OS. So I'm gonna load the context and we get the context. So, you know, that works. I'm gonna go to the Android one, gonna reload it. And if we get the load the context, uh, we get this. And I'm gonna go here and I just checked why I'm getting this. This one is results. Sorry for that, guys. I don't remember everything I do. I always need to check uh, the docs. So I'm gonna go to load contacts and okay, okay, we get it, right? We are getting this. So we are getting an empty array. And this is because I just told you, if you remember, that we don't get contacts on the phone by default. We need to add them. So I'm gonna go to contacts and maybe just, I don't know, whatever. Uh, cancel. I'm just gonna do Francis. Uh, let me do it, right? So Francis. So the uh, emulator, it's a little bit slow. So I'm gonna say Francis Jones, I don't know, whatever phone number, that's okay. And I'm just gonna, maybe just gonna save. All right, so I'm gonna save the contact and now we get a new contact, that's good. So now if we try again from our application, we should be getting something. So I'm gonna reload the application, load contacts, and now we get, you know, we get Francis. All the, most of the fields are empty because again, they're empty, but you get the Francis right here and everything else, so all right. So I'm sorry we had to do this, but uh, it's just something that we have to do if you're doing for Android. If you're just on iOS, just do contact get, get all, and that's gonna be the end of this. Okay, so uh, with this library, we can of course get contacts, but we can write contacts and we can open the contact form. So let's go to the next one and do that. It's gonna be very simple. Once we, uh, you know, we get this done, We are we, we, now that we get this you know, ready, uh, uh, doing the other thing is just real simple.